Okay, this is Makita Impact Driver DTD 146, and I'm back with repair of it. Okay, I need to change the switch, the AC, and the rubber, front rubber. Okay, the AC, you can see that the old AC have some scratches here, new one don't have them. So I will replace it. Of course, you can see the corner here is a different on a new and a, on an old and will ask him. So okay, I will replace them. Okay, now the switch. The switch is burned here. As you can see, it's a mark of burning. The new switch looks nice, shiny. Of course, it you have changed the part number. The old part number was six five zero two four one four. Now it's two five six. Sorry, six five zero seven two two eight. So they fit perfectly. Okay, I will start from the switch. I will unscrew the carbon brush holder unit. Of course you can screw it on the switch or not, it's not a difference. The red wire goes to the bottom of the switch. Here is the bottom where the number is, part number, so the red wire goes to the bottom, black to the top. Okay. Not get it very hard with your drill. Just use hand to break the switch. Okay. If you will um, connect these wires for in other direction, for example, the black uh, to the bottom and the red to the top, uh, then uh, the drill will go to the other direction, for example, when you will press that you need to go forward, the drill will go backward and so on. So it's not a big problem, nothing will burn, but still it will be not good. Okay, now the battery terminal, just removing the connections, okay. LED circuit Okay, and we have the switch Here so of course it's going to the recycle bin I think. Okay Okay now The terminal have negative positive and uh, this one is for checking uh, the battery I don't know how much battery is charged so okay now the positive uh, is red one yellow one goes to the check connection okay it's not going for some reason okay Seems that everything is good, but it's not going. Okay, now it's going. Just use it a little bit force. Okay, the black wire goes to minus negative. Now LED connection. It's very simple. You will not, you will not be able to put it in other direction. So just don't worry about that. Okay, of course, check the wires. They must be in the places, it's a place for every wire here, so just put them in a place. Because if the wire is not in a place, you can damage them by closing the motor housing, so that's not very good. Of course, always check this button, 
because it will piss you off if you will assemble all the drill and then it's not not working, not installed correctly. Okay, the armature. The armature is used, not new, so it's so you have a little bit dumb here on the commutator. Okay, the field. I'm always using the field for the small parts because I don't want to lose the small parts. Okay, now I will take out all small parts. Okay, so the field is good, nice. Okay, it's a groove here on the field. The groove must go here in the housing. Okay, here's a Okay, so it's a for positioning. Okay, so now inserting the. Okay, this one, okay, it will fit. I hope. Okay, now this one goes here. Okay, we need to assemble the hammer mechanism. Of course, we have the anvil. I will use the yellow Makita grease for this part. I will just put not very much grease here. And of course some grease here. If you will put too much grease it will go out to the housing, so <laughs> that's not very good. Okay. Some paper. Okay, what we have here? We have the housing. We need to put this on. Okay, so now everything is in the housing, almost everything, it's a gear here, the gear have the groove here, if I could remember it goes down the groove, if not we will know that when I will start to assemble it, but yeah, the groove must be down, okay, if you wish you can put a little more grease here, okay, now the cover, it's a o-ring here inside in the cover, in a good place of course check the ball bearing if it's moving and then close it it's a uh, uh, counter uh, counterclockwise so to tighten it you need to turn it counterclockwise okay don't use a lot of cores normally I'm doing that with pliers okay and just holding it with my hand so, and it's enough. Okay, just testing if it spins. Yes, it spins. Okay. If it spins, that's very good. If not, that's very bad. <laughs> so, okay. Now, as we have this one, we can install the tool holder. Okay, so two bolts here. Okay, two, yeah, I'm not lying. But I like to lie okay so one hole for one ball and the second hole for second ball okay just don't lose them okay then the sleeve the spring the flat washer and the holding ring okay pressing down the spring with flat washer mounting the holding ring Okay, sometimes you can mount the holding ring with the fingers, sometimes you need to use the screwdriver or pliers. Okay, so I will try to do that with my fingers, okay. Yes, I did that with my fingers, of course, always check it with a screwdriver, always. Okay, now it's working, we can test if it holds a bit or not, holds a bit or not, okay. It holds, it releases a bit, okay. Okay, now we go back to the drill. Okay, so we need to install the armature. It okay when you are installing it. If you will install it not in good direction, you can feel the going like a no like a bumps. So try to get it straight. Okay, when it's not straight, it's not moving now. Okay, so if it's straight, it's moving nicely. Okay. It's a marker sign here on the joke unit, so it must be on the top. That means the groove is down in its place. I think that was made in the manufacturer, and that's very good. 
Okay. Now the carbon brush holder unit. The field. Okay, just checking the wires. Okay, everything seems in these places. Checking the switch to not be pissed off when assembly it. Okay. Just putting it on, checking for the gaps here, if it's going nicely or not, okay, going nicely. I will screw all the screws in, okay, one is missing, okay. As you can see, it's almost look good. Okay. Now just getting the spring hold. Okay, yes, the spring is here. So now just putting the carbon brush. Okay. The customer told uh, that I need to leave the carbon brushes. Because they are almost good, there's so half of them left, so okay, why not? They are cost maybe 3 euros here in Lithuania, so I, don't, I think that it's better to change them, but... Okay, why not if the customer is telling that, so why not? Okay. Just holding the spring with a screwdriver and installing the carbon brush. Okay, just make sure that this wire is here, not on the top line, like it's often it happens. Okay. Okay, here the back cover. Plastic cover and the front rubber. Of course, if you are afraid to lose that rubber, you can glue it, but not not a lot of glue, so you not get it right. Okay. Okay, now it's good. So it's some um, places for this rubber. Normally, I'm just spinning it around and getting it into the place. Okay, so this is nice. Makita Impact Grill. Okay, works nice. Shows the battery indicator. Okay, so that was a Makita Impact Grill. The 3146. I changed the switch, the anvil AC, and the front rubber. So that's all, folks. Thank you for watching and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe my videos.